What's up guys, Kids here for another Nino Kuni Cross Worlds video. And today we are going to talk about the new changes, new updates that came in. So new field boss stuff and the update to the second part of the Fate and Challenge cards. Okay, so let's get right into it. But before that, I just want to say that we have checked everything out in my Twitch right after the maintenance. So if you guys want to hang out, ask questions, whatever, hang out on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash ESGG. We are live every day, 6 p.m. each time. So anyways, let's start off with the Fate and Challenge card. So we now have unlocked hard mode and challenge mode. Hard mode is super hard. It's actually really hard. We were able to complete it with like um, two 5Ms and three 4Ms. But if your CPs are not as high, then I doubt you'll be able to complete tier 3. Tier 3 is actually really hard. And of course, there's a time restriction. I think you have only have six minutes to complete this one, but it's super tanky. Um, even tier 2 was already really hard with 3Ms as teammates. So yeah, good luck finding people that can carry good carry you guys Anyways, uh, time attack mode or the challenge mode is here as well. Um, it's actually really hard to score high here if you don't have the new familiar uh, floaty doki. And of course, ranking rewards, you have the new ranking rewards, asteroid rewards for rankings 1 to 10. And cosmetics such as the starry night heart hat. And of course, extra chal or for everyone that hits 48m damage, you'll get the glasses. And then for all others, you get the shooting star face sticker. Okay, so yeah, um, that's a big thing over there. And if you go over to your metal shop, of course, you'll have the new updated shop over here to use your coupons on. And there's also this thing, Eagle the Gift. So every time you purchase this one with your medals or your coins, summon stone coins, this thing upgrades. So it starts off with one star Eagle the Gift, two star, three star, four star. And then it goes back to 1 star, 2 star, 3 star, 4 star, okay? And it repeats, okay? So you can buy this one 12 times and it goes, or the star levels of each Eagle D goes up every single time, okay? So that's the only thing that I think you need to look into that one. I'll show you some footage on the episode dungeon runs that we had. And yeah, just be careful on... Or just be wary of the serious hard because it's actually hard. Well, the boss is actually very tanky. Okay, next part that we have is the new field boss mechanic. So let's go over to field boss for now. Okay, so in field boss right now, you can see that we don't have any more field, a field boss pass anymore. But uh, you can see here we have a new field boss change here. So Stelia is now a corrupted Stelia, which means it's stronger and they drop medals as well same with corrupted mecharagon and of course syrups and whatnot right so there are new drops here star starlight egg grain that you can use to cook the i think it's pretzels that will help you boost damage against stelia and reduce damage from stelia so there are also new craftables that are it's the same with mecharagon wherein you can craft uh this thing night eater so you will be able to craft it using an Awake 10 Creeping Dark thing. So if you get this thing to Awake 10, you can use it to craft a Night Eater, right? So this thing. So you just go to Tumba and craft it on the accessory spot. If you're not yet aware with the new field boss changes, so everyone or all the field bosses are now with shared HP. 
so you can just do one run for each so imagine actually i think it's a really really good change so every run you do you're just going to have one run on silverbeard vulcan ganti stelia mecaragon um Kalia and of course the new one blue goddess statue so you're just going to have to run them one time right and every time that you run it you're going to receive three boxes three chests so i think it's a really good change um it made the field boss hunting so much less complicated now so it's super easy to actually just do it now right so you also don't need any more drivers field boss drivers right you can just do it on your own just start off silverbeard vulcan and follow the sequence right well that's a sequence for us i'm not sure with other servers i hope you guys are okay i mean the new field boss season has started so the cp of the monsters are increased so hopefully you guys can do it in order so that no one misses out because if someone does it out of order a lot of the well most of the members of the servers would be very very upset for sure right so yeah i'll just show you a clip here on our run last night 11 pm we have a ra random ass party over here that just invited me so yeah um right now we have eight channels in silverbeard hopefully no one's running stelia first so we're just going to double check all right uh stelia okay no one's running it which is good Right, everyone's starting in Silverbeard, so we know that everyone's gonna get the same amount of boxes. Hopefully, hopefully, right? As long as the bosses don't die so fast. If the bosses die very, very fast, this is not gonna work. The update is going to be really, really bad. You're expecting to have at least, at least 21 or, well, the expected boxes that we'll get every run every field boss run is 21 boxes because it's three times seven seven field bosses and then three boxes each right so if you complete them that's 21 boxes so hopefully hopefully we don't finish Sil uh well not silver beard probably vulcan vulcan dies so fast and then jagati dies so fast and the runs are not going to work it's going to be very scattered again so hopefully everyone gets in or yeah everyone gets into the world bosses or field bosses at the correct time we're in the bosses are not yet died we're in the bosses are not yet dead okay so we're starting yeah that's fast bro vulcan vulcan fast fast Oh no, he beat it alone. Okay, he did not. Hopefully, hopefully we get there. Oh, he's still alive. There you go. Okay, and then next up. The TP is so slow though. But this is good. It's very chill. It's just one boss each. Here comes the new corrupted mecha rag no corrupted stelia the new corrupted stelia how fast will we be killing this one since everyone's here does it hurt no it doesn't hurt Oh, no last hit. Okay, so it, it's very doable with doing it just solo. You can pretty much just solo this thing. 
and it should be okay. Wait. The bosses die so quickly as well. Oh, by the way, for those who did not do their bounty quests, bounty quests are really good because they give triple the amount as they did last time as well. So if you haven't taken your bounty quests yet, take them now. So those people that have not been doing their field bosses actually has an advantage today <laughs> just by taking our bounty quests for the first time this week. So good stuff. <laughs> actually made up for all the bounty quests that we've missed for like three weeks no and Kalia is also quick to die oh and also we're going to get to see the new field boss right the blue goddess statue okay so one more let's see how many how many channels we get for bodily archives after this one hopefully we get a lot more than three ah it's this boss okay and he's water oh eight channels nice gold farm GG's that's it that's actually it that's really good it's not very stressful and it's very chill you finish it in like five minutes but everyone gets the same amount of boxes so there's no need to be teleporting with um what's this Teleporting through wanteds, following the revenges, and all those kinds of stuff. So they just made it very uh, less complicated than before. So, oh. okay. So let's open everything. Hopefully, we get some good stuff, right? Maybe one top rare, rare earrings from the new goddess statue. Hmm? Let's see. And we get nothing. Oh, what's this thing? Oh, I think those are the registration stuff, right? We got no four stars though. Well, that's fine. Good stuff though. Good stuff. I, I really like this kind of format for field bosses because it's not very stressful or you don't really have to get a driver anymore by this time. You can just do it on your own, right? So yeah, that's it for the new field bosses. It's really fun and the new field boss is kind of okay as well. And what's good, we have 8 channels for gold farm, so really, really, really nice. Alright, so that's it for the field boss. And of course, we have the new costumes from Stelia. It's actually really good, it looks really good from when I tried it on. Where is it? Midnight Hunter outfit. So it looks like you're Mafia members if you wear this, right? Oh, where is it? The hat. This one, right? So you just put in color white right it actually looks like you're from a mafia <laughs> actually it looks really good man. the costume right now looks really good compared to the mecha dragon ones right so definitely going to be farming my field bosses now <laughs> just for the costume just for the costume it's actually really really good the costume is so good right so i'm gonna get mine and probably for all my other characters as well probably we'll see Right, so this one's really good. Um, if you want to craft it faster, you can go to shop actually, and you can buy uh, Stelia Season Shop this thing uh, five times, so you'll get fifty Starlight yarns. So this one is used to craft the costume. You need a hundred of this though. You need a hundred, hundred of this. So yeah, and then you can buy this one as well ten times or one time for ten pieces. Okay, so that's already sixty over here. If you don't want to really farm 
Okay, so that's it for the new field boss. Other stuff that we have is the this thing, the treasure hunt. So um, if you look at the, I think uh, everyone's pretty familiar with how to do this one already. And if you look at the stage rewards, it's actually really hard to choose, right? But on the last one, there's a chance for us to actually get a rare Kingle D, so that's good. Um, but stage 10, I don't know what I want to pick actually over here. <laughs> I don't want to pick summons. I don't think I need summons. So it's either just four star Hegel Dees or the stones because I really need the stones right now. Preparing it for next month. But yeah. Next up here, we have the serious challenge or fate and challenge event over here that uh, you can get a six star uh, card puzzle. What else is good here? It's all puzzle pieces, right? And of course, toys and medals and what's this? Chance to go chance to get a doll right and then i think that's it i think that's all the new events and of course this one's surprise field boss conquest event so stellar ring so chance to get a stellar ring over here there's also been a temple arena balance adjustment which i can probably cover in a separate video because it's very interesting on the changes and of course we are going to look forward to it this saturday right so there's a lot of changes over there so i'll cover that one on a separate video because it's not yet or well we don't see it yet right now and we can prepare for a meta change probably and we'll see what happens all right so i think that's it that's pretty much it uh, overall, I really like the patch on the field bosses because as someone, uh, for someone who does not really do his field bosses, this makes things so much easier and so much more simpler. And especially for new players as well, they don't have to really know the revenge meta. They don't have to do the wanted meta, TPTP over here, over there, change channels whatsoever. So it's so much simpler now and yeah. The only problem probably is for the other semi whales that were able to get first place, second place prizes before. And since now we have a shared HP, then it's just really going to be the mega whales who will be getting the premium prizes, right? So that's probably it, but I really like it as someone who's casually just playing the game now. So yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Let me know your comments below. Like, subscribe if you haven't yet, and see you guys next time. Bye bye.